We're going to move on to our GMA cover story now. Chrissy Teigen sharing this photo of her child in a protective helmet, getting a lot of reaction from parents. Lindsay Davis is back with that. Hey, Larry. Good, good morning again, guys. She is sparking a social media trend of moms showing off their babies sporting these corrective helmets used to treat flat heads. Now, this is a common syndrome, children winding up with the back of their heads being flat, but it's not something that moms typically posted pictures of until now. Model and cookbook author Chrissy Teigen revealing her six-month-old son, Miles, is now wearing a helmet to treat what she calls his adorable, slightly misshapen head, referring to a condition called plagiocephaly. The mother of two sharing these photos of her son on Instagram and Twitter, inspiring other parents to post photos of their children clad in similar helmets of different shapes, colors, and sizes. Some criticize Teigen prompting her to tweet, Miles has been seeing a physiotherapist. We didn't go straight to helmet. We tried muscle work and will continue. We know that some of the mild cases go away by doing some of that tummy time, by repositioning babies. And then even the cases that require helmets and physical therapy do resolve within a few months. Plagiocephaly affects one in four children between birth and six months old. <laughs> Lindsay McFairlane's seven-month-old son, Jaden, wore a helmet to treat plagiocephaly for seven weeks. When he got the helmet on, he screamed bloody murder, as I'd call it, because he was not a crier. And by day five, he was back to his happy self, laughing. He didn't even realize that the helmet was on. Jaden wore the helmet 23 hours a day and just two weeks ago removed it for the first time, successfully completing his treatment. It is a huge difference. It not only shaped the back of his head, but it actually aligned his eyes. It aligned his chin. It aligns more than just the flattening of the head. Now, primarily children end up with flat heads because doctors often recommend babies sleep on their backs and also because babies born prematurely are more likely to develop it because their skulls are still softer when they're born. Robin. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much. And Dr. Jen Ashen is here to talk more about this. So tell yeah. us a little bit more about the condition. Well, as we heard Lindsay say, it's called oftentimes positional plagiocephaly, but we have to remember first some anatomy. When babies are born, all their bones are soft. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, anyone who's held an infant knows about those soft spots, the fontanelles, yeah. and the brain is rapidly growing. Sometimes babies are actually born with these misshapen skulls. Other times it is from this, you know, this campaign, which has been life-saving against SIDS, the back to sleep campaign, because now babies are positioned on their back to sleep. If they prefer to turn one side like mm -hmm. you and I do mm -hmm. when we sleep, it can result in a misshapen head. So we want to be crystal clear. This is not a reason to turn your baby over okay. when you put them to sleep. They need to be put on their backs when they go to sleep. So how do these helmets work? And are there other courses They're of treatment? They're cool, right? Yeah. So, so first of all, these are called cranial orthotics. Anyone who's used them in their feet, this is just the skull form. So they're laser measured. They're individually and custom made for the babies and they're worn almost all day for about almost 23 hours. Mm. The earlier a baby wears them, the earlier the correction and the shorter period of time that it will take to do that. But basically it allows the skull to change. It, it holds the regular shaped bones in place and lets the flat shaped bone kind of grow you know, at, at these kind of defects. And there are other things you can do before the helmet, right? Yeah, yeah. mostly it, physical therapy, positional changes, yeah. those things are tried first. But then, you know, people are now aggressively yeah. going to these helmets because they're so safe and effective. And, and Chrissy talked about that because people were, I cannot believe they were shaming her for this. And she was saying, right. look, you know, we've, we've gone to the doctor, we've tried other things. What's right. your advice as a mom and, and a doctor? First of all, in medicine, just as in life, there is no place for shame and blame unless you are intimately involved with someone's specific situation. Situation. Anything you're doing is speculation. I think medically, the term is stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. um, parents have more than enough blame and shame directed yeah. inwardly to go around. They don't need it from anyone else. And I think this is bringing awareness to something that's affecting so many. 13 to 47 percent of babies today, depending on what statistics you look All at. Right. So awareness is good. It is. All right, Jen, thanks so you much. Bet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.